Yeah. All right. Can so. I, can I pop the game? Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna pop this again. Yeah, do that. It's a good idea. Um, then you got the plastic covering your what you call it, cucumber. You cut it down like that. It helps you take the plastic off at the same time. I'm going to take seeds out. And the secret to the, group, the bean salad is to have everything cut up about the size of a bean. Doesn't that make sense? So cool. So, take the seeds out. Taking the seeds out of a cucumber. Let's see you come to keep longer. Right? Mm-hmm. Gee, teaching me something now. Yeah, that's right there. This is our bin. That bin is too big. Take the seeds that's, of the... That's the recycling bin. But the thing is, Tom, the seeds of the cucumber are the best part. So, yeah, well, you could eat it or use it for something else. But if it's going to make your whole salad go funny. So, we cut long ways along this guy. Pop this in the freezer for bits of cool stuff. Yeah, good idea. Cut long ways along this guy. So, and then bosh, bosh, bosh. Cubes of cucumber. This is not a bad fridge, eh, Not a bad fridge at all. It's quite a sexy fridge, that one, eh? Come on, the pizza inside, all the pizza's got nice I must say, I'm quite happy with it. Now, I don't have any big bowls, so I'm making it all in the container in which I'll keep my bean salad. And grab an onion. Same thing with the onion. Now when I cut an onion, I like that little bit. Spin it around. And look at that, that first cut is actually taken off part of my skin. Grab there like that. Et voila. Oof. Now this guy, also roughly chopped, size of a bean. Sometimes you've got to take out that little bit, but it looks okay today. On this one, I'll have to take that out just go like that, because that'll stop it all coming apart. I'm going to go for a quick skate, yeah. Huh? I'm going to go for a little skate. Oh, cool, man. Knock yourself out. Okay. You're going to take your keys or you're going to call me? I don't mind if you take the keys. Pardon? I left my skateboard at home. Uh, isn't it the car? No, I took it inside. i got a skateboard if you want. It's in the room next to the toilet there. No, it's cool. I'm going to Okay. What am I doing with the skateboard? I'm too old for skateboarding. I'm going to hurt myself. I've got fear of hospital bills. Be a word for that. What's Latin for hospital? Uh, oh yeah, a green pepper. Now the way I cut a green pepper, wash, wash, this one, I don't know if you can see, I can see that bit there. I'll go straight down like that. I roll this guy, like so. That comes out, pretty much all the, what you don't need. That cut got rid of that bit. When you've got some experience with this, um, it all just comes together. Anyway, so. Sorry. Get the idea here. I might want to cut that little bit out. But I'm not really that fast. Here. And we've got all that, blah blah blah. Good. People who know my bad cooking lessons, most things I just do bish bosh bash and job is done. Well, this container is not big enough. This container is not big enough for the two of us. This container is not big enough for all the ingredients. So I'm not going to use like four types of beans like I usually might. 
five, whatever, lots of beans. I'm just going to use maybe two cans. That's cool. Save something the next time. Most important is chopping all this stuff. Then, uh, let's have some garlic, hey. A little bit of garlic. Is that a whole thing? Maybe one. Now, I can handle the chili with the seeds in. I oh, know, but no chilies are through my shit. Okay, well, a de seeded chili. Chopped up five. And about this size. Accessorizing chopping board. Excuse me. Is another chopping board coming? Oh, spirit vinegar. I'm gonna put that in just yet. I like it to use. Like to use it to get the salt and pepper and seasoning around. Okay, so there we go. Get a colander in here. What should we go? Let's go with. I like uh, ten different colors. Haricots and kidney beans. Wow, they're a bit too similar. I mean, cannellinis and kidneys. Now these haricots, what's this? Bolotti, no. Yeah, haricots and kidney. Right. So. I also can now. Use that water to rinse the beans. And I'll save the water. Or something else. That's for recycling. Sort that out later. Now I'm a fan of metal. Maybe good old one of these guys. Because when it dies, it goes into the environment and rusts and goes to you know doesn't end up in the stomach of something. Or even if it does, it'll probably be nutritious in some way. I don't know. But it's metal. Okay, voila. What I might do. Because I don't, oh, I don't have any cayenne pepper either. If I had cayenne pepper, cayenne pepper, add that. Huh? Cayenne pepper. Cayenne, is it? No, it's cayenne. Oh, thanks for that, lad. And you haven't pronounced that. There should be a word for when you only learn of words by reading them, so you mispronounce them. Like I used to think sycophant was psychophant. What you doing? Taking the lid off. Don't, so don't leave the thing open. Mm -hmm. It's your planet you're burning. Shut up. Shut up. It is. It's your plan. Yeah, Tom, shut up. I'm busy doing something. Hey, I'm busy doing something. No, I'm just taking the lid off so that it goes quick. You like Andrew. Andrew just leaves the fridge door open. No. It's I'm really be... bad, man. Huh? Tom, I'm busy doing something. Okay. I'll let you off this time. Right, so then we've got beans. And now uh, the secrets ingredients is use white pepper. People don't understand. Something happened in the 80s. People thought that black pepper was cool. Um, that's just rubbish. Black pepper is cool, but white pepper is also cool. But in instances like this, we can chat. Have a drink. Have you eaten these before? Yeah, they're really cool. Oh, I uh, then we get some salt. Uh, the salt is. is I, should, I need to get a mortar and pestle. I'm going to have to leave that for a while so that dissolves. Ooh, you know it never goes right there's a bit of fish sauce but you have to put very little because you don't want people to know that you put fish sauce um, and then some fresh herbs would be good i've got some rosemary growing outside which bear with me a second we should have another um lesson on how to deal with herbs herbs and chilies I'll definitely do that one day uh, chopping wet herbs they stick together so what you want to actually do is when you get the herbs home this is fresh from the garden so I mean that's why it's chopping but um, when you get herbs from a shop and wash them uh, take off the band or whatever's tying them together take it off put them in a glass with some water and let them spread out and dry 
That way, and you can even recut the bottom so that they can soak up the water nicely. If you cut them at an angle is even better. Extra points. And then whenever you grab, need some herbs, just grab some and it's not all wet and stick together because when the herbs are wet, it all sticks together and doesn't chop up and fluff out. Right, so what have we got in there? Herbs, we've got some rosemary, garlic, spirit vinegar. I'd rather use white wine vinegar, but I've got none at the moment because I'm a peasant. All right, and we'll just mix that around. I would have a bowl, but I don't have a bowl. I'd rather have a big bowl for this. Like I said, I'm a peasant. Let's see if that's, uh, oh, it hasn't mixed up very nicely. Uh, sexy wooden spoon. Whoa, check that guy. I'm just using that because it's sexy. Anyway, that is your bean salad. It probably doesn't look like anything great, but I'll tell you what, it tastes awesome.